This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build great websites, to create a beautiful online presence, and to run your business. Find links in the description for 10% off your first purchase. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Walking out of a really cool hotel that I happen to be here at in San Francisco. Yep, it is officially Samsung Unpacked Day. Today is the day that we get to see the Galaxy S20, all of the other phones, and a couple of other surprises that they'll have at the event. But I wanted to take a look at something a little bit different today because there's a certain announcement that they will make after the Galaxy S20 that I think everyone should pay attention to. I do wanna make sure I talk about the Galaxy S10 Plus and why I still think it's such a solid device. The first thing has to do with just the form factor. One thing that you have heard from a lot of people about the Galaxy S20, especially the S20 Ultra, is that that thing is a chonker of a phone. It is a big device. Yes, you get a big screen, you get a big battery, but also that camera hump on the back is still protruding out of the phone. The Galaxy S10 Plus, on the other hand, being the largest version of the S10 line, has sleek lines, it's very thin, the camera bump is not that big, and you still get a triple camera setup that has plenty of power for a lot of good photos and videos, like you've been seeing in this video. <laughs> yo, yo. Doing? Oh my god, it's Tim Schofield. You. Look at him. Oh. Oh. What's up? I'm such what a are you doing with the camera? I'm through security that way. Alright, awesome. Alright, so as you're seeing in this video, uh, make sure you take a look in the corner so you know when I'm using my main camera, my main vlogging camera, but also the Galaxy S10 Plus. As you can tell, uh, without some of the features that you're going to see on the S20 Ultra, it's still a solid phone. It's still a solid camera. You can get a lot of fun shots out of it, both video and photo. Uh, we're gonna go through a few of the differences between the S10 Plus, the S20 Plus, and the S20 Ultra, obviously. Uh, but yeah, overall, the S10 Plus is still such a solid everyday smartphone camera. We're also pleased to announce that effective today, we are reducing prices on the Galaxy S10. And soon, S10 users will get some of the great features through software updates. Like right there, that, that price cut on the Galaxy S10 Plus, the that's why it's still worth it. And indeed, the specifications of the Galaxy S10 Plus are still viable even in 2020. How do we know this? Well, the fourth phone that Samsung announced that unpacked was the Galaxy Z Flip, which basically has the same specifications as the Galaxy S10 Plus, just slightly updated with the Snapdragon 855 Plus. More on that phone in another video that you can see in the link appearing above in the card and in the description below. And when it comes to the Galaxy S10 Plus versus the new phones, you are missing out on a few of the new features, but of course that is what you end up paying for in the leap from S10 to S20. The S20 Ultra, which is the bigger phone relative to the S10 Plus from last year, now has a massive 108 megapixel sensor, and then of course there is that zoom. And you can go even farther, all the way to 100 times hybrid zoom, but I'm still skeptical about whether or not it's ultimately useful for a lot of people. I don't feel like that's the case for me, which is why the Galaxy S10 Plus is still viable enough with its two times optical zoom. Three times might have been a little bit better without a loss in quality, uh, but ultimately zoom is not something I use as much as the wide angle, which is of course still on the S20s and it has been on the S10 Plus. 
And near the end of Unpacked, they made that announcement that with the S20s that are here, they're not necessarily replacing the S10s. That was the point of this video, is to remind you that the S10 and the S10 Plus are all still here, the S10e even, and they're all being considered at lower prices as a lower tier, but still equally high end with the S20s. So if you are in the market for a new phone and you end up looking at the S10 and in particular the S10 Plus, you don't have to feel like you're going backwards in the smartphone game. In reality, you're still current because Samsung feels the same way. But I wouldn't be surprised if these prices continue to go down throughout the year. After all, we're going to have a lot of other smartphones coming up. There are always deals on carriers and in stores. And because this is a phone technically from last year, this is more prone to discounts more than ever. All right, before I finish up this vlog, shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. It's really easy to claim a domain or URL of your own and then use Squarespace to bring your ideas and your style to life. You can make a professional website, an online store, or even a portfolio. Many of the tools from Squarespace just make websites easier. There are SEO tools even, appointment scheduling features for your website classes or sessions if you do that, and email campaigns to help you grow and engage with your audiences. In my case, I'm making my site in order to just make a landing page for all of my different forms of content, whether it be from the YouTube channel, my segment called Type 2 Foodie, and also my Instagram and other social media. That way you can have a one-stop shop for everything JV thanks to Squarespace. Check out all of the tools Squarespace provides to help you get your business and your online presence off the ground. Visit Squarespace for a free trial, and then when you're ready, use squarespace.com slash Joshua Vergara to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So I pass the question off to all of you. Do you think that the Galaxy S10 Plus is worth it? I personally think so. I mean, I've done a whole video about it up until now, but I want to hear what all of you have to say. What phones are you using now? Are you excited to go to the S20? But now that you know the S10 is still in the game, are you going to go for that as your upgrade instead? You can save a little bit of money that way, and I think that's a great prospect. But from there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. All of my coverage from Unpacked, a bunch of videos coming out of that particular event. So you can look forward to all of my content here at JV. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell over on the site so you're notified for my new videos. And drop some likes on these videos. And like I said, get into the comments section so we can have those discussions. And from there, I'm going to call it on this one. And until my next video, I would just remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody.